hi and welcome back to add on knowledge so today what we are going to be seeing is that where maths is applied even in nature maths is applied for example for it is used in plants and in the galaxy in and in sea shells also so today we are going to be seeing at the application of fibonacci series in nature that is in plants so let's get started Before we get into the topic let us first understand what fibonacci series is so to understand what a fibonacci series is it is just a simple series formed by adding the first two terms first we have 1 after 1 next number is also 1 now if we add the first two terms 1 plus 1 we get 2 then if we add 1 and 2 that is the last two terms that were added we get 3 now 3 and 2 we get 5 5 and 3 we get 8 and the series goes on so now let us see the applications it gets in plants so for plants if they need to survive all the leaves needs to get sunlight in order to do this most of the plants place leaves in a particular angle such that all the leaves get maximum sunlight for example if we take any angle for instance 120 degree Okay, let us try it out. If we keep a leaf at one twenty degrees, the next leaf, we place the next leaf, then the third leaf. We observe that the fourth leaf is placed where the first leaf is placed, and so it blocks the sunlight. If such an angle is implemented between two leaves, then the plant may not get enough sunlight, and so the plant will not grow pro properly and thus die. In order to see with what angle. should be used between these two leaves such that there is no overlapping let us see a uh, a uh, decimal that is formed by dividing two fibonacci numbers first let us divide take and divide any two consecutive fibonacci numbers we uh, we see that it is about 1.617 as we go on if we divide any two consecutive large fibonacci numbers we see that it is close to 1.618 this is also known as golden ratio now if we divide 1 360 divided by this angle one this decimal 1.618 let us see what angle we get and this angle we get is known as the golden angle now let us try placing the leaves in such a manner if we divide 360 by 1.618 we get 2 2 2.5 that is 222.5 degrees now let us try placing the leaves in such a manner first let us place a leaf then another leaf another in the same manner let us place five leaves after we place these five leaves let us see, observe what happens to the sixth leaf when we keep 222.5 degrees between the leaves the next leaf gets placed exactly between the between any two leaves so even though a little part of the leaf is covered we find that they at least get some sunlight whereas in other angles the plants do not the leaf, all the leaves do not get sunlight so i think you would have believed me but let us also try going out into the park and find out what the angle between any two leaves are in a real plant I hope that you found that useful. Now let us see at other applications in nature, such as in shells and in the galaxy. So for this, let us represent this Fibonacci series in the form of squares. First, let us draw a square of side one centimeter and another square adjacent to it. Now one plus one makes two. Now let us draw another square of side two centimeters. Now two plus one is three. and then of 3 cm i have drawn such squares so you can find you can find that now after i draw all these squares if i form quadrants or 1 by 4 circles in each square then it seems to form a spiral so let us look at what applications these spirals have 
So this spiral is known as Fibonacci spiral. So this Fibonacci spiral has many uses in nature. For example, this Fibonacci spiral is also used in the, uh, the snail shells that you see and also in the galaxy. The galaxy appears to be in the form of a Fibonacci spiral. Another interesting fact to note is that all flowers also the number of petals of all flowers is also a Fibonacci number. Let us also check this out using two or three examples. I hope that you found today's video interesting. Tomorrow I will soon meet you with another good topic. Until then, bye.